introduce myself first. My name is Fami Anifa. I I come from Madache. I live in Rupo, Darussalam. I am 30 years old. I am studying English, English education at Russia. I think that's all. So I would like to talk about today's topic, right? What is the topic today? Living in Asia, comparing to other country. Is that good or not? Living in Asia. What do you think about living in Asia? Yeah, I think it's a very good topic. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, uh, I, recently I watched many videos uh, for the last two years or so. Watch some videos about traveling from uh, foreign travelers and bloggers. Uh, they talk about uh, how how is it so uh, comfortable to live in Indonesia it's because the people are so nice and people are so friendly and they enjoy living. Uh, and also, the food is very delicious. Those are one of the reasons that, uh, that they love to live in Indonesia. I think Indonesia has uh, its own advantages or features to live in Indonesia. Like, uh, you know, because the majority of the population is Muslim, Islam, so uh, foreigners, even though, uh, for example, they are, if they are not Muslim, they don't have to, to worry uh, to live in Indonesia because Muslims always pr protect, give protection for uh, non-believers. Yeah. Because uh, this is the, the religion of Islam, teach uh, Muslims to treat people equally uh, under before the law. Because it, that uh, is the messages, messages from uh, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu And and also the uh, the nature is in Indonesia is very very beautiful. Uh, and the, the weather also very temperate. You uh, only two two types of weather every year: uh, summer and rain, rainy season. So you don't have to worry about uh, snow because snow. Ninja uh, God very, very seventeen thousand sixty hundred islands. They're very tall, Almost awesome, right? Islands, uh, mostly are small islands, and some of them are not named yet. And if you go some of these islands you can enjoy the beautiful white sands and you can see um, the nature in there and the people are very very friendly and and also if you compare if I compare to living in 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 Euro, Europe European countries or uh, South American countries or uh, America North America uh, you maybe you cannot uh, survive living in there because the winter the winter is sometimes can be very severe very dangerous and you have to you have to stay uh, indoors during winters because if you go out, outside uh, if you don't wear good clothes or uh, thick clothes you will get frozen get freezing and then uh, die of die of uh, the cold and in Indonesia, because it's uh, uh, most of the islands are in the you know the the line of Equator, Equator line, so you don't have to worry about the weather of winter of snow. Uh, maybe you have to, maybe sometimes you have to be uh, be prepared for you know uh, heavy rain. Sometimes it can cause flooding. But uh, most of the times, if you have a uh, higher house, if you, your house is built on a bit higher, yeah, if you are safe now. For now, uh, if you, you, you can still uh, enjoy uh, rainy season. And also, uh, in, in Indonesia, you can enjoy uh, the Muslim festivities and festivals like Ramadan, celebration, and Idul Fitri, Idul Adha, and, and also uh, uh, Maulid. So many, so many celebrations in, the, in Indonesia that you can you can enjoy living here, and because of the socialization, uh, social social atmosphere with the people will make uh, newcomers feel welcome in Indonesia. I think that's all for me. Thank you so much. Alrighty, question. Ram is Fahmi and if I got a question for you. So talking about Nija, very tall, awesome. 
I do love Nija, you know, I know that because you know what? My grandma, my grandpa are from Nija, exactly, I you know what? Alright, I got a question for you. Nija is a huge country, right? Almost, to, you know, 275 million people living in Nija. Right, so what do you think about corruption in Nija? What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. Corruption in Indonesia yeah. is very, very uh, rampant nowadays. Since, uh, especially since uh, for the last seven years, yep. many corruptors are protected. Many mm -hmm. corruptors uh, get a, a lot of permissions yeah. from the government, from the president. It, uh, it, it makes uh, corruptors feel safe in, to, to live in Indonesia. And the government still hasn't done much to eradicate, oh. eradicate uh, corruption mm -hmm. in this country. I think the government should uh, make um, capital capital punishment. Capital punishment. Death penalty. What do you think about death penalty? Death penalty. Or twenty five years in the jail, or fifteen years in the jail. Depending on the uh, the amount of money that yeah, they, I that. they steal, right? Mm. For example, if the, uh, the the person steal more than five hundred million, I got that. They should get. Uh, capital punishment or death penalty uh -huh. if they steal less than that less than 500 million mm -hmm. they should get their hand chopped off uh -huh. cut off mm -hmm. and if they steal uh, corruption not money maybe they, they corrupt they make corruption in time they, they corrupt time they corrupt something because corruption can be uh, expanded into several categories like time sometimes uh, people don't corrupt money but they corrupt time uh, they should uh, keep uh, prison, prison or jail, jail punishment to make uh, Indonesia clean, clean and uh, clear of all corruption activities. That's all. So, do you support Chinese governor and you know North Korea governor or not about that finale for all single corruption? Corrupt, you know, cor corruptor in that country. Do you support or not? Do you support or not? Chinese uh, governor and the North Korea governor? Do we win that finale? Yeah, I, I support uh, to, to keep the death penalty. Yeah, for the corruption. For corruption. Yeah. I, uh, I think uh, this, this uh, regulation, we can follow the example. Yeah, inshallah. That's all. So do you support, right? I support yeah. strongly. Alright, thank you Mr. Fahmi Hanifa.